In the last class, we have learnt about food adulteration. I was telling you about ice, ice cream adulterated with washing powder. Next, we talk about salt, sugar and salt. So, I was telling sugar is added with chalk powder and it is made white, more and more white so that people will get attracted. So, in, when you compare a brown colored sugar and a white colored sugar, obviously we will go for a white colored one but nobody will think how it is it has come so white from a brown color sugar so what is the alternative do you think go for jaggery jaggery is also extracted from sugar cane the jaggeries are available in powder form or thick uh, syrups like uh, which is kept in the bottle so go for it don't take too much of sugar. Sugar is also not good for our health. Next, we'll come to silver foil on sweets. You might have seen, if you go to a sweet stall, quite many sweets are coated with silver foil. If you ask the shopkeeper, if you ask what is it, he will tell silver foil. Do you think it's actually silver foil? For that cost, whatever we give the money for half kg or one kg, do you think that's actually silver? Will it cost only that much if silver is coated on that? Definitely no. Silver coated sweets are very, very expensive because silver is a very expensive material which has to be used in food means you just think. So what is it on that? It is the aluminium foil thin foil they will coat on sweets another one is being used is the animal fat you believe it or not animal fat is spread over sweets as a thin film which appears as though it is silver foil but it is not all the sweet stalls do it maybe few sweet stalls they use the real silver thin film on sweets which may be expensive what do we see when we go to a shop you we ask what is the cost so we'll go for a cheaper one so what is this adulteration resulting in more quantity but economically less so we work out and calculate which is good we normally it's obvious that we go for a cheaper one but we don't ego about, think about the adulterants found in it. Red chilli powder. Hope you might have seen in your mother's kitchen chilli powders. Red, red bright red chilli powders. So do you think that is the original color of the chilli powder? No. Rhodamine. Is it dye? It's a chemical compound is being added to the chilli powder. And brick powder, if you powder the bricks, it appears as though it is chili powder. So a half a kg, if you add chili, if you add brick powder to 10 kgs of chili powder, can you recognize? No, you think it is a chili powder and we eat it. Next one is a turmeric powder. To the turmeric powder, People add methanyl LO. Methanyl LO is again a chemical dye, synthetic dye. To make it bright yellow, methanic LO is added. Next, honey. You might have seen honey advertisements. Quite many advertisements come on TVs about honey. What is being added to honey? To make it sweet, water is being added to the original honey and sugar sugar is also being added along with sugar one more item being added is jaggery they add this to honey you may think how to find out whether these things are adulterate very easy in the case of honey you can take one glass of water add honey to it if it is original and not adulterate means the drop of honey whatever you have added just goes like that into the bottom and settles in the bottom. But what about the adulterated honey? The moment you add one drop of adulterated honey to water, it spreads immediately in the water. 
that's hundred percent sure that it is adulterated and the original honey has such a thick drop it goes and settles down in the bottom like that we have all the tests for testing it may be chili powder it, it may be sugar it may be turmeric powder we have every test to test to check whether it is adulterate or not coffee we all know coffee tastes very good very nice if you are having coffee when you are having a headache the headache goes because caffeine which is present in coffee is, is a central nervous system stimulant but does the coffee powder contains only coffee powder no chicory is added to it nowadays the government has given permission to add chicory up to 40% chicory is not good for health next tea let us come to tea whatever the tea we drink daily colored leaves tea powder tea po leaves are colored green color the same colored powder if you add can you make out no we cannot and used tea powders for example we drink green tea that is leaves of tree plant if you use it for green tea after filtering it you get the leaves back dry it again add to the tea powder can you make it no definitely no then iron fillings the same color such as green leaf powder iron fillings iron fillings give lot of weight to the tea powder next we will move on to food additives see we have seen what is adulteration adulteration is adding a substance so what is food additive food additive is any substance which is intended to become a component of a food product or which affects a food food product it includes substances used for processing manufacturing packaging treating see we might have heard that uh, food products are irradiated with radiation bark baba atomic research center in mumbai have brought a new technology of irradiating food items food items are kept away from the source of radiation through proper channel what they do is they irradiate food items why do they irradiate to kill the germs and eggs of insects present in it and better storage condition you can store it for longer time 6 months 1 year like that and to increase the shelf life and this irradiation helps in transportation so this irradiation it is a additive whatever is being added it has some function to perform correct okay next there are few different types of food additives direct food additives substances intended to for intended to use in the food and they serve fertic particular functional effect and next one is indirect food additives substances which become part of food item from processing packaging or manufacturing they become a part of the food may not be required but they become next we will move on to addition accidental food additives we will move on to accidental food additives what is accidental food additive substances which are accidentally get into food items they actually are not considered to be food additives because they got into the food item accidentally but they are considered as food additives or adulterants when they render injurious to health when they become injurious to health i'll give, just give one example a employee knocks a box of cleaning solution into a food item is it adulteration no but what is it it fell into the food item accidentally obviously the cleaning solution will give will affect our health correct so just think it over it's a question to you next let us move on to the food versus food additive we have seen what is food in your previous classes food we are required to take for our normal functioning of the body so food is a 
broad term that includes food components and their raw materials. No pre-market approval is required for foods because we daily consume it. When a food becomes a food additive, because as it is used as a component in another food, we call it as food additive. Food additives require pre-market approval, whereas food does not. Next, we will summarize our today's class as adulteration summary. So, what is adulteration? We have defined it in the beginning. So, in terms of health, potential for harm and reduction in economic value. So, adulterated food, foods may be less expensive, but they are harmful to our health. So, standard is a measure of harm. In the case of adulteration, the measure of harm, they may be injurious to our health, unsafe. So, we have to protect the public health by not adultering our food. Next, the presence of unapproved food additive. We have seen that food additive, they should get an approval from the agencies. So, an unapproved food additive, can you think it's adulteration? No. I'm just posing a question. An unapproved food additive is adulteration or not? In conclusion, I would like to say you are the youngsters, next population of the country. Please, if you enter into some food processing, food manufacturing or food growing industries, just see to it that don't get into food adulteration. It's very dangerous to our health. You may make money out of it. What will you do with the money if you don't have a proper health? You adult food in one place. In another place, maybe one of your relative or your sister, brothers, they will consume it. Just think it over. It is a social concern. We have to think it over. Just not go behind money by selling adulterated food. Thank you.